We want to make sure it's, you know, it's stable and, you know, uh, 10 news tagging along with a sheriff's crime prevention team today. They were doing a free in home inspection to help a family prevent break ins. 10 news reporter John Horn was there when the crew found some surprises. Even the most safety conscious person may overlook. So what we do when we look at windows is we make sure you have locks, not just one, but at least a secondary lock. Mike Mateo uh, and Monica Cordero spent about an hour Thursday sniffing out signs of weakness. A lot of the times, a lot of burglars like to lift open and take, lift, take it off of the track. Okay. So there are anti-lift devices that you can also install as well, okay? okay. The twosome are crime prevention specialists for the sheriff's department. They were inside the Santee home of Robin and Mike Judd, who asked for the inspection and invited us along. It's a concern in today's world, security, and how safe are you, and you can never be too safe. The sheriff's department offers the inspection for free. It goes over aspects like surveillance options, lighting. So I see there's a little give. Physical security like door locks and neighborhood watch programs. The Judd's home performed well. After all, they've never had a problem in 38 years living there. Followed a lot of the things that we suggest. Uh, we had little, little recommendations to give them. Most of those came outside the house. They suggested installing lights in the backyard that are controlled and cone shaped. Additionally, they could install a better lock on their side gate. I can pull this string in the, and it opens right up. And then this discovery, a brick decoration in the backyard, Cordero raising the red flag. People oftentimes don't bring their own tools to break into houses. They kind of use what's around it. So like a brick could easily be used as like a rock and just be thrown into a window. Little changes that could go a long way. John Horn, 10 News. And to arrange for your own home inspection, you can call your local sheriff station crime prevention unit. We have a link on our website to individual station numbers. Just go to 10news.com.